All right, I think that my mask is coming out okay at the moment. That's ratchet. I think it looks beautiful. It's very mermaidy. All right, so I'm gonna clean these sinks, guys, and somebody's gonna help me put the glass up. So the salon is reopening, finally. Everybody's at the salon today. We're all working really hard. Drop it on top of that one and tighten it. All right, it's good. I had to get a lot of stuff prepared for the salon. We're gonna try to get the doors open. So welcome back after four months of being home. I know that you have cut your dog's hair, probably dyed your cat. So Who has a cat? I don't anybody know, does anybody have a cat? Oh, I'm so glad, because I hate cats. <laughs> We're all kind of like a big family around here, so it's nice to just get back and interact with people. 91.9. 91, am I dead? <laughs> Me and Stella and Ashley, like, those are my best friends. We work together, and we haven't seen each other in a million years. Like, video chatting is, it, it's just not the same. Listen, I'm gonna show you something. You have to watch me carefully, come over. So this is here to protect you girls and the clients. It's here to protect everyone, but there's an, oh! And we just decapitated a client. Classy with a K. But why did this come out the front? Like, if we turned it this way, we really just decapitated a client. When we grand opened four years ago, we had a huge party. We had like lights shining up from the floors that crisscrossed. People thought we were opening a nightclub. And it kind of was the same feeling. It was that excitement again. But now you have to follow the rules. So the rules are you can't have that many people in the salon and you have to social distance. So you know what? Make it a party in the parking lot. Look at this lovely lady waiting right here. Let's bring her a boa and bring her some champagne. We're still gonna be the Martones. We're still gonna be who we are, whether we have to do it social distancing or not. We're working, we're working. We are going to open. Salon Martone is open! Come, get your hair done! He's got no hair on his head. What am I saying? <laughs> we're gonna help you. Hey, Salon Martone is open! Woo! And there's a sign. Good afternoon, so I'm Martone. Could I help you? Okay. Thank you, honey. Hello. Hi. I'm Dee Dee Max. I'm the magician. You are a magician. Oh, oh, very cool. You're here to see Lexi. So I have a consult coming in today. I know she's a magician, and that's about it. I don't know if she's gonna pull any tricks like it right away, but DZ, this is Lexi. Have a seat, darling. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you didn't do any tricks for me yet? Uh, I have them right here. Just watch oh. my finger. Oh, okay. I'll make this very quick here. I, I call this the ring of eternity because there's no beginning and no end. The ring is on the string, but you see, it's really not. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you some of my magic. You're gonna have to show me some of your magic so we can make this work here. <laughs> it's gonna work. It'll work. Okay, so what were you thinking? I have a really great new show that I've put together, and it features magic nails. I wanna be able to use the nail to like make something levitate. You want things to levitate on your finger? That's a project. Well, that's kind of the famous thing that magicians do. Everybody talks levitating. about levitating. Let's see, levitating nail. Let's see if this has ever been done before. <laughs> Nope, no results. Okay. Levitation on a nail. That's a new one. Okay, so when do we need these, you know, magical things by? So I'm hoping one week. Okay, so um, levitating, disappearing, magic. Hologram. Uh oh, hologram, okay. Sure, no problem, easy. I'll do this in my sleep. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. I can't wait. There's so few female magicians out there, but then the fact that I'm going to be having these nails that do this that nobody else can do. Well, I'm all about doing things that nobody else has done, so. I want these nails to be magic. They're going to be actually part of the show, working into some of the routines that are in the show, and she's the only person that I think can pull this off for me. Now, imagine if I had the nails doing this. See? And... <sighs> Gone. No pressure. <laughs> no, no pressure at all, please. <laughs> we have been closed for all of eternity. At least that's what it feels like. I feel like I have no idea how to do nails anymore because I tried to do my own last night and only got through one hand because it took me like 12 hours to do this. So um, it's been a while, I'm a little rusty. Okay, well I guess I'm gonna have to enroll in magician school and um, I'll let you know if I have any magical questions. <laughs>
thank you. So apparently there's these like light up fake fingers that magicians use and I ordered some. You know, you just put them on your thumb and you push the button and it's like you're throwing lights back and forth. And are you gonna put nails on this? Yeah, you put your thumb in here and I'll plop the nail right on top. That's actually so I'm gonna put some fake fingernails on them and no one will know the difference. So I have a client that came in and she's a magician and she wants something to float on a nail. She wants magic on her nails. First order of business, I'm gonna make some playing cards. Magicians are known for card tricks. So I'm gonna make a deck of cards that's kind of like stacking up the nail. I create them out of white acrylic. And then once those are sculpted, I go in with my little teeny tiny little detail brush and paint on the numbers or the letters and the shapes. I'm kind of creating the illusion that like the cards are floating. Next, I wanna do a rabbit cut in half. You know, normally you put a body in that box and you know, you cut them in half. We're gonna cut a rabbit in half. So I'm making a little box that has a little bunny that's like cut in half. Yeah, don't worry, no bunnies were harmed in the making of this nail. This is just an illusion. Next, I wanna make like a floating rabbit on top of a top hat. The idea of this nail is that the rabbit head is popping out of the hat and then it will ideally levitate above it. So for the hat, I'm gonna sculpt it out of black acrylic. For the rabbit head, we've got some plastic grapes and I dip it in white gel and I want the head of the rabbit to be hollow because this levitation device is not gonna hold a lot of weight. I sculpt the ears out of acrylic. I paint on a little face with some eyelashes, of course, but she wants something really spectacular that no one's ever seen before. She wants this set of levitating nails. I mean, I've done a lot of stuff on nails, but now we're talking about levitation. The abracadabra flotimus. Alcohol wipe down. All right, back to normal. Thank God. <laughs> Lexi. Yes? Hello, Chicky Boo. What are you doing? The floating apparatus. I really just keep pushing this off further and further, and we've come to a point in time where it's all that's left. If you can make that levitate, make me levitate. I want to float in the air. Listen, let's start with the nail. So I have a client and she's a magician and she asked me for a set of magical nails that she can reveal at her first show back after quarantine. But she wants something really spectacular that no one's ever seen before. She wants this set of levitating nails. This one's broke. <laughs> Don't break them, I need these. That one's broke. All right, so what is all of this stuff? You're doing, um... So this little ball is supposed to float on top of the magnet. You gotta turn it the other way. Uh, go ahead. You oh, turn it oh, the other way. Oh, wait, they're stuck in here. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is really cool. It's a magnet, Mom. You've never seen a magnet? So the ball floats on top of the so, magnet? Yes, they're supposed to repel against each other, and it's supposed to float on top of the little donut magnet. Levitate. Yeah, I'm going to pretend it's levitating. Yeah, well, we're, we're not trying to pretend things. We're trying to actually do things. So now I've got to get started on the levitating nail. I'm gonna try and use the magnet polarities to repel against each other. The disc magnet will sit on the nail and then the little ball magnet will hopefully repel against that magnet and then it will make the rabbit float. Now this should float in the middle. Yeah, that worked. The magnets are supposed to have an opposite attraction. There's one side of the magnet that's opposite the other side of the magnet. This is not going as planned but they just keep sticking themselves together and they're not doing what they should be doing. I don't know why I put myself in these situations, but here I am, so now we need to make this nail float. So now I'm gonna try and make a rabbit float on top of the top hat. So I ordered some invisible thread finger contraption. So I'm gonna try and use this to get the rabbit to levitate. So the way this levitation device works is like a finger shield and then an invisible wire comes out of it. I just need something to hold the invisible thread to my object that I need to float. So I figured, let's put a magnet on it. Oh, no, no. You have to find the end of the thread, which is invisible, so that's fun. Have you ever tried to find the end of a real thread? Now find an invisible one. So I've got the magnet on the wire and it works perfectly. Okay, 
The only issue is this invisible thread is very fragile and it breaks very easily. Let's just hope these things work when they need to work. Okay, so ideally, a little bunny friend is gonna sit inside the hat, and then the magnet is gonna go on the back of the bunny, and then she could pull it out of the hat. Whoop! So I come in today, it's the morning my client's coming in. Everything's painted, everything's glued, stoned, top coated. I just kind of have to put these on her and hope that this thing floats. I haven't started my magic career just yet. Hi, darling, how are you? Hi, great, how are you? Back. We're gonna bring you back and I'll get Lexi for you. I'm back and I'm feeling nervous and excited because I'm planning to incorporate these nails into my show and not just a costume decoration, they're really part of the props. They have to be mechanically functioning. Okay, so are we ready to reveal the magic? Yes, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh! <laughs> oh that is so beautiful. Thank that you. <laughs> it's the bunny in a zigzag box. <laughs> oh, you really did your homework. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're gonna have to get used to working with these things. <laughs> oh, wow. Good, I'm so happy you love them already. These are awesome. I can't believe the levitating nail. <laughs> Where's the levitating it's, it's, one? It's coming. It's, I'm saving goodness. the best for last. Wow. She's like dancing in her chair. She can't stop looking at them, so. Oh, God. Now we just need to make sure the nail floats. Is this it? Yep. This is the one? Yeah, that's the one. This is the levitating one? There's a little magnet behind the bunny's ear that you can... The nails are giving her a little bit of an issue. It's probably gonna take some practice with the nails. <laughs> oh, did it break? Yeah, the wire snapped. The nail hit the wire and it broke. Okay, I might need to go back in my laboratory for a minute. I planned for a lot of things to go wrong with this set, but I didn't think the nails itself was going to break the nail. Safe to say, okay, that I wanted to disappear myself out of the room at the moment. I've never really had the nails break, you know, with the client in the chair. This one's a first. I don't give up. I remove the magnet, I attach a new magnet. She is so happy with everything else. I just need this thing to float. Got the bunny. This nail is gonna float whether it likes it or not. Okay, the bunny is back in action. Yeah, I just have to get used to this. Okay. Are we ready? All right, here we go. Okay, time to float. <laughs> <laughs> the bunny is floating. <laughs> I'm so excited for this show. I knew that Lexi was an amazing nail artist, but she's an amazing magician as well. Ta-da! <laughs> First step back, I made a thing float on a nail. We made it happen. <laughs> Dusting off those cobwebs. We're back in action. Thank God we got through that one. 